We are called to be carriers of God's presence, not just consumers of it. This church, we are a body. We work together to carry the presence of God. See, it wasn't carried just by one priest with the whole Ark of the Covenant on his back. It was carried by a community together. And David's sacrifice is remarkable to me because it says they took six steps and then they sacrificed a bull and a fattened calf and then they pick up the Ark of God again and they take another six steps and they do the same thing. It's a remarkable image of a sacrifice of praise. David atoning for the sins of how they previously tried to carry the presence of God. But if we can think about this for a minute, it it approximates that it was six miles of a journey from the house of Obed-Edom to the tabernacle where David was gonna bring the ark in the city of David. If a pace is two feet, two inches, every six paces they would stop, stop, hold it, let's provide a sacrifice, let's praise the Lord. And they'd prepare an offering, they'd burn it up. That's 2,437 stops, 406 stops per mile, 2,437 sacrifices. If there was 30 minutes to prepare each sacrifice, it would have taken 52 days on a six mile journey. If you add eight hours of sleep and maybe three hours to eat, it would have taken 26 more days. You could approximate that it might have taken David 78 days to get the Ark of the Covenant from the place where it was into the city of David. What a sacrifice of praise. Most of us are tired after three songs, but David endured and praised the Lord with all of his might, praising and dancing. And no wonder he was leaping when he entered the city because he was almost at the end of his journey. But we're called to praise the Lord together as a sacrifice. And the Bible doesn't allude to us why it was six steps. I've researched it and I've seen a few different theories on it, but I wonder if it's something to do with the Sabbath, that there are six days of the week that we're called to carry God's presence. We carry the presence of God into our Monday. We worship Him on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, every single day of the week. And then there's one day that we dedicate and we set apart to gather as a community and praise His name together, to lift up our praise as a sacrifice. Come on, you can praise Him today, it's good. But if you can think in your mind of of what this procession might have looked like in the wake of this procession, that's 2,400 something animals sacrificed along a six mile journey, a big long trail of blood and guts all the way from Obed-Edom's house to Zion, which is pretty nasty if you you have to think about it for too long. But in a way, it leads us to the cross. See, as humanity, we've we've had a, a trail of blood all the way from Eden to the cross, trying to appease God, trying to sacrifice and atone for sin in our own strength. But Jesus has come so that we no longer have to make those sacrifices. In fact, thank God we don't have to make animal sacrifices anymore. The only sacrifice that He asks of us is for our hearts dedicated to Him. Hebrews 13, it says, through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise that is the fruit of our lips, giving glory to His name. I'm gonna close with this scripture from Hebrews 10, verse 19. It says, therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have the confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus and by a new and living way open for us, that is the curtain that is His body, and since we have a great high priest over the house of God, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart, with a sincere heart full of the assurance that faith brings, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope that we profess because he who promises it is faithful. So you might feel like you can't come to the presence of God today because of what you've done. You might feel like you're not good enough to worship wholeheartedly. Let me tell you, friend, Jesus has made a way for you to come close to the presence of God. You see, the most holy place was reserved for the high priest who was to come and offer a sacrifice to atone for the sins of the people. Jesus has now become our great high priest and it says that He has put away the former for the new. There is a new covenant that we are walking in and now we as a church have the opportunity to confidently come 
before the presence of God. So if there's one key takeaway that you can take from this message, it is that we are to carry God's presence into every day, into every day of our lives. And that when we come together, we celebrate and we sacrifice our praise from the fruit of our lips, giving glory to His name. Can we stand, church, for a moment? We're gonna praise, we're gonna worship, we're gonna engage with what He is doing. This is an invitation to come close to His presence today. You could lift your hands, you could kneel, but I would encourage you to do anything that you need to do to step into the presence of God because He's worthy to be praised forevermore. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's lift our voices, let's lift our hands. If you enjoyed this video today, why don't you click subscribe and click on that notification bell to get a notification the next time we upload a video. And if you're new or you've been coming to the C3 Church for a little while now, why don't you find out what your next step might be in the journey of faith? Click on the next step link in the description below to find out what your next step in your journey might be.